friends. Today we're going to do a little experimental video on how to sublimate an, an image onto a laminating sheet onto permanent vinyl. This happens to be Oracal 651, which is what everybody's using right now. So I'm going to go ahead and test it on this and uh, see what kind of a mess we can make. I've looked at several videos you on YouTube, which is pretty much my go-to, uh, you know, learning experience, especially with stuff like this. And everything seems to be pretty much the same. So uh, normally we can do a printing cut on the Cricut and have it printed out to the printer and then you load it back in. I'm not going to do that, but it is an option. There's great videos out there and I have done it on previous stickers, but these are really quite simple. So I'm not just going to get into the elaboration of that. This is just cut and dry, how to put these three things together and make a sticker. So the first thing that we are going to need, of course, is our transfer. I'm working on an order right now who wanted these. So we have some of those. We have a couple of the, this is the Meti uh, symbol for New Brunswick. So one for me, one for my cousin. And then the Irish uh, colors over the, the country because my husband is Irish descent. So... These two are going to go in our vehicle. My cousin, who is the chief of our community, he's going to put this on his vehicle, or he better, if he knows what's good for him. And uh, this is an actual extra. I do have a couple that I have done. So this is the end result, and we're going to get to this through this. So I have my transfer, and this is just a loose cut. I'm going to just trim this down to size. Um, I want to leave some space to be able to trim it again. I just don't want to take up a lot of uh, product being the vinyl or the, uh, the laminating sheet because, you know, we like to save some money. This is just copy paper, and this is what's going to be my blowout paper. I'll get into that more in a bit. But if you're familiar with sublimation, then you know what that's all about. So here I have, uh, this is just an offcut, you know, of course we keep a little bin, keep all our offcuts in, of Oracle 651. This is a gloss white. I don't think the gloss is going to impact the overall because we're going to be putting another gloss product over top of it. So if you use a matte finish, I don't think it's going to matter. Just make sure it's 651 because we want that really strong bond. So cut out my transfer. I'm going to go ahead and just trim down um, my vinyl to a relative size to my transfer. My pen out here. I usually use a pencil. I don't know where it is right now, but a mark is a mark. So I did oversize this just a smidge because um, I want to make sure that my transfer is well into the uh, on the vinyl. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a little mark this side. This is pretty remedial, but it's part of the process. So now I have my vinyl. And I have my transfer, and now I need my laminate. This was two sheets, you know, like the pocket type. If you open it up, you can just very easily give it a tug, and it'll come apart at the seam. You can trim off the seam and turn it into two sheets. Whatever suits your madness, go ahead and uh, stick with it. But as you can see, this is not a full sheet. I've already used this because I've already showed you the other stickers, plus the numerous test runs. 
<laughs> Practice makes perfect, they say. And I'm just going to cut this. I'm going to worry about shiny side, uh, matte side in a bit. Right now, all I want to do is just trim this sheet up and uh, get a working, a working piece. So again, I'm just doing a rough cut around my transfer to determine how much laminate I need. And that's that. So shiny side, matte side. You can really clearly see the two sides. This is the side that will stick. This is the side that will not stick. So shiny side up, shiny side up, shiny side up. So now to put these three pieces together because I've seen videos where they'll laminate to the vinyl. Then they'll press onto the laminate. And that's overall what we're going to be doing. But I found that I was getting bubbles. And I think it's because the the adhesive on the Oracle was getting hot. Of course, it's going under a press for 360 degrees. And then I started questioning how that adhesive is going to settle and solidify again so that it actually is going to be sticky, which is what you want. So I figured it out. Like I said, a lot of trial and error. How to do this one shot. So we're going to take our Oracle or our vinyl. You can use whatever vinyl you want to use. There's Sisser, there's Starcraft, there's Oracle, there's etc. etc. I happen to have this. I don't have any Sisser, or sorry, Starcraft white, but I'm kind of switching over to Starcraft. So I do want to do a test on this with some Starcraft. So something might be coming up maybe as a supplement to this. So my vinyl, matte side down, shiny side up. The matte is going to fuse to the vinyl. My transfer transfer side down. My transfer is going to sublimate into the shiny side. Right? So now I have my three pieces. And this is what we're going to press. I'm going to go back to my paper and I'm just going to oversize cut off a, a strip and I'm going to fold it in half. Because I want blowout underneath it, I want blowout on top. Even though my transfer doesn't hit the edge, I still want to protect my top heat platen. Blowout is when you trans or when you sublimate a transfer. This ink is going to turn into a gas that's going to expand. So when it expands and you get transfer onto your bottom pad or onto your platens, it's called blowout. We'll see it on the paper on. Um, oversized uh, transfers when you after you've pressed them we're safe here but I still want to be able to make sure that we're better safe than sorry so I'm going to take my three pieces and I'm going to sandwich it in between the two people the two papers now that I have these sitting in there you know you can kind of see it there's the edge and there's the edge all these edges. I'm ready to press this. Let's move over to the press. Alrighty. So my press is set already for 360 degrees and I have 60 seconds on the timer. So that's what we're going to press this at. Probably like a medium pressure. Which you spin your dial, make your pressure. Um, so 360 degrees for 60 seconds. I have a swing away, so I'm going to move this out of the way. I always keep a piece of paper on the bottom, as you can see my mats. I just want to make sure that I protect this because ink will transfer onto another project if it's on your pads. This will throw away. I'm not going to throw away this silicone, this foam pad, because that's just going to cost me more money. So I'm going to take my transfer. I'm going to put it just in the middle 
and I'm going to swing over. You can do this with your Cricut as well, if you have a Cricut press. And I'm going to lower this down, lock it in, hit the enter so it starts counting down, and I'll be back when it's ready. Okay, so we're about to beep. There it is. I'm going to lift my press and stand back. There is some gas in there from the ink. Don't want to be breathing that in. Move this away. And now we have our pressed transfer, which is hot. This whole thing is hot. So I'm going to go ahead and just get this out of the way. And I'll meet you back at the table. Okay, now it's cooled off. I can handle it. It's still, there's still heat there. So I'm going to open this up. And I'm expecting the laminate to stick to the paper. Not Maybe not everywhere because it was kind of relative to side. But if it is, not a big deal. But, and we can see that it is. And this is even more of a reason why we're using this blowout sheet. Even though we don't need it for the ink. If that was to stick to my platen, well, I don't know what kind of a mess it's going to be, but it's going to be more of a mess than I want to deal with. I can throw this away easily. So we have good saturation. One of the good indicators of a, um, a successful press is that if you can see your image clearly through your paper. And we can. Really good saturation. So I'm going to take my transfer and then peel it away. There's not a lot of ink left here. But I find that uh, these do carry more ink than I normally do on my transfers. Usually this is more faded. I don't want to do any more time. I certainly don't want to do any more heat. Um, so this to me is okay and toss that and there we have it this bubbling is because that oracle has heated up and the glue is uh, you know bubbling a bit but that does settle down so I'm good with that I'm gonna just do a loose trim around here and uh, it'll become a sticker just like these cuts. I'm not going to throw this in my Cricut and use my blade and all that stuff. I just do a loose cut and this is measured to sit on a license plate between the first numbers and the second set of numbers and you know I have a con conservation plate so I have a little bird on mine but if you have a blank space you can put this on your plate. Now I do use UV resistant ink uh, but with anything that you're putting on the front of a vehicle, you know, like you're going to take some hits, like this is the the plate that's going to go with this. There's uh, a few plates and this couple of stickers. It, plates and anything that you're putting on the front of your vehicle, it's going to take rocks, it's going to take bugs, it's going to take whatever it is. So, you know, get those little plate protectors and this, this really should be fine. I'm not expecting any badness out of this but you know as all customer feedback if I hear in a couple of months that this is not holding up then maybe I gotta revamp my process and uh, replace the sticker so there we have it we've taken all that and we put it together and come up with uh, a little sticker see if usually I can't peel it until I cut it but we'll give it a go there it is and you can see that it's on the silicone backing and the sticker is all stuck together there we go all right well thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos as i put them out and of course subscribe and and uh, comment below if there's anything that you would like to see differently on this video if you know of a different vinyl that i can try this on um i want to try it on clear i don't have any clear I have some transfer tape but i don't know if that will work because i don't think the stick will be there like the tack and the adhesive but go ahead let me know what you think all right bye now